Uh, so fast flow. remember the limited edition shops that I was talking about when we were at 313 and Orchard Gateway. This is probably one of the dopest shops that we have in Singapore. This is limited edition chamber over at the Marina Bay Sands. This is actually the private vault that they have that's only available for viewing for their members. And the sneakers that are here, whew, they're not only under, are they rare, they're also incredibly pricey. These are a select group of sneakers that usually sell for thousands of dollars not just here in Singapore but anywhere all over the world for example if you guys just you know follow me back here you have here some of the first Yeezys of course that Kanye made with Nike and whew, just seeing them in the flesh in the person is just mind-blowing this one over here sells for six thousand five hundred Singapore dollars so that's just crazy we also have the Adidas Jeremy Scott sneakers so if you guys just span over here You'll see some of the crazy designs with the wings that actually made Jeremy Scott like super familiar and super famous with Adidas. So this is a more colored version, some more subdued version, and this is the one that's just all white. Just a quick bit of trivia to those who are WWE fans. These sneakers are actually some of the favorites of WWE superstar Kofi Kingston. So he's like in the running now to be the next Universal Champion. And he did mention in a bunch of his interviews that he loves the Jeremy Scott Adidas line. And we have three of them here at the limited edition chamber vault in Singapore Marina Bay Sands. Now, there are, all, there are also a bit other sneakers that are just really whack. So if you take a look at this one, this is like, I don't know what, <laughs> Josie the Pope Pussycats kind of thing. So it's a leopard skin with the tail, sells for 500 Singapore dollars. This you have a panda. It literally has a panda. So <laughs> at the top, if it were my size, I probably would have bought that one and kept it back home. And then if you go here, you have some of the rarest Yeezys. You have, of course, the Oxford Tans. You have the one that the boot. You have the Pirate Blacks. And you have BB Yeezys as well. So you have the All Creams. You have the Turtle Doves. Uh, you have like the black one. You have the Fear of God Converse over here. And if you move over here, you have some of the rarest foam posits. This one is really sick. You have a Swarovski Air Max over here. Now, if you are an Air Force One junkie, they actually have a selection. I don't know if they're custom or they're just super premium. Uh, you have your leather, almost alligator leather like Air Force Ones. This one is selling for 3,000 Singaporean dollars. Well, this one is at $480. Definitely not cheap. So apart from the private vault that they have, they also have like your other sneakers on display here at limited edition uh, chamber in marina base so you have the latest adidas ultra boost game of thrones collection all of the sneakers save for targaryens dragons are here so here you have the night's watch you have house targaryen you have white walkers actually what i'm wearing now so that's cool and of course you have house stark house lannister for women only you also have some of the Rap Sibons as we go. So this is the one in red. You have the one in black and yellow with the transparent sides. For the ladies, you have pink and green. This is the latest Oswego that came out. So the one in black and white. And the ladies version, pink and blue. back in Manila. As I mentioned guys in my previous vlog, I actually flew back already to the Philippines, uh, but I do have a bunch more of Singapore vlogs coming up to you in the next few days ahead. So make sure that you guys are subscribed 
and make sure that you guys just check out the Singapore playlist. Link can be found down below if you guys haven't watched it yet and binge to watch the series. Now, I, for this part of the vlog, I just want to share with you and do an on-feet review of the sneaker that I actually bought from Limited Edition. Now, I did not buy a uh, 6,000 Singapore dollar shoe. I did not buy a 5,000 Singapore dollar shoe from their vault. I actually just picked a shoe that was outside the regular store, a shoe that I've had my eye on for quite a while now, and it ran out when I was trying to buy it here in the Philippines. If you guys can remember, I did an on-feet review and unboxing of this shoe. This is the Adidas Night Jogger. And this is the white colorway of the shoe. As you guys can see, it has a white boost. You have the gray, the gray suede paneling over here. You have the mesh. You have the rift stock material. It really is an amazing sneaker, especially if you think about that this is technically a general release shoe, but it does have like the markings and the styling of a consortium or of, or of a collab. However, I love the black version of this, but I ran out of the black version of the sneaker. The good news, Limited edition chamber over at Marina Bay Sands had the black shoe in my size. And of course, I couldn't stop myself, so I ended up copying it. Guys, this is the Adidas Night Jogger in black. And I was able to buy this from limited edition chamber at Marina Bay Sands over at Singapore. And as you guys can see, it is friggin' amazing. I mean, take a look at that design. You have the gray suede paneling here at the toe box or mudguard. You have the black, suede, black mesh material. You have the leather here near the laces. You have the same leather here. You have that net material here at the back. You have the suede again here along the sides near the collar of the shoe. You have the exposed foam, very off-white like here at the tongue tab. And you have the Adidas logo in suede here as well. The reflective material just with like just like the white version of this can be found along the sides and at the back of the sneaker. So it does make for like a great IG prop if you want to take pictures with the shoe. To those who are interested how it feels on feet, this is a ridiculously comfortable sneaker. I love how they were able to give the balance of stability and cushioning by combining the boost material that you guys see here at the midsole and the plugs, especially here at the outsole. There's this like giant plug over here that they used to be able to give it a little more form and structure especially if you are running, well not running, or walking on the shoe. The typical NMD just has like boost all throughout. This one has a nice layer with the outsole and an added lift for the arc of the medial side of the shoe, which is great for people who have flat feet. Now, I am a huge fan of the Night Jogger. I love it to bits. Probably one of the most stylish general release sneakers that Adidas has released in this year. Uh, probably, well not probably, I'm sure it is, at least in my opinion, better even than my, one of my current favorites, which is the ZX500RM. So that's my haul, at least from Limited Edition Chamber Singapore from Marina Bay Sands, and I'm very happy with it. That's also my on feet review. I am I'm not able to do an unboxing anymore, guys because I left the box in Singapore in my hotel when I left, well, when I left Singapore. I just kept the shoe, uh, mainly because I ran out of space in my luggage. So yeah, that's it for the review of this sneaker. By the way, quick poll, which one do you guys prefer? The black one or the white one? I'd love to hear from you. Please do let me know in the comment section down below. No prizes here, guys. I'm just curious on which one you guys prefer, white or black. A few more things before we end the vlog. Number one, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, we are giving away the Supreme side bag. All you guys have to do is to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics so you can see the mechanics for this giveaway. I'm also giving away a Nike backpack as well as a Nike gym bag. Uh, I will put the link as well to the mechanics of that particular giveaway down below, pinned in the comment section as well as in the description box. If you guys haven't joined both giveaways yet, please do so. And lastly, I just want to give a quick shout out to Pastor Larry Uy. You see this vintage WWE cap? Guys, this was actually bought, I think, in the 1990s when WWE, back then known as WWF, World Wrestling Federation, came to the Philippines to do a show. I think it was even Brett the Hitman Hart and Andre the Giant who found themselves here in Manila. Uh, Pastor Larry is one of my pastors to the church that I go to in Victory. Uh, actually, let me this cap for the purposes of this video because as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of WWE. I still, I, I don't get to watch it as much, but I I, I try to when I, when I see like clips on 
YouTube, especially on the WWE YouTube channel. I don't have the time anymore to watch the entire 3R or 2R Raw or the entire SmackDown, but I try to catch up just by watching the, the clips that come out on YouTube. So guys, that's actually it for the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Please do stay tuned for the other vlogs that I have prepared for you from Singapore. I think I have like maybe one, two, three, four more vlogs coming to you from Singapore. So that's a bunch more of content. And if you haven't watched any of the vlogs yet, or if you think you missed out, I do have the Singapore playlist. Link can be found down below. Binge watch everything, enjoy the entire series. I put a lot of effort into this set. So make sure that you guys check that out. And lastly, if you haven't seen my Taiwan series yet and my Japan series yet, I will put links to those series as well in the comments box and in the description section down below. I hope you guys are all having a great week and I pray that you all have a blessed, refreshing, and meaningful weekend ahead with your loved ones and with your family. Peace, God bless, what's up? I'm, can I just say, I love it back home. Boom. <laughs>